So you have a few influencers lined up, maybe they have good engagement, you're ready to go, you got the product ready to roll, but you don't know how much to pay them. Yo, what's up guys, Nash here coming back at you with a brand new video and today we're talking about exactly how much you should be paying your Instagram influencers because I know a lot of you guys have questions and some of you might be overpaying for pages that you shouldn't be overpaying for. So yeah, let's just go ahead and dive in and uh, see exactly how much. How much should you pay Instagram influencers? Well, it's not really an exact science. Uh, a lot of it depends just on the page, on uh, you know how engaged it is, uh, the past um, history of the page, all kinds of different factors go into it. But as a general rule of thumb, I like to use these numbers as sort of a, uh, kind of like a starting point. Let me just separate these so it's a little bit easier to see. Um, but the first one is 50,000 to 100,000 follower page. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing anything under 50,000. That's why I didn't include it. If you do, I wouldn't recommend charge or uh, paying any more than like five bucks for it. But um, if you're going in the 50,000 to 100,000 range, I would recommend paying between five to $12. Uh, you might be, you might see $7. I wouldn't pay anything over maybe 12, maybe pushing 15, just depending on the page. And um, you know, this all has to do with engagement, obviously, which actually, let me just write that here, is that um, all dependent on engagement, okay? And I've gone uh, in some other videos about the engagement and how to look for it and how to actually know how good a page is, basically look at the comments, see how many likes it gets, make sure they're legit, and then, you know, uh, use flanks and you can figure it out. If you wanna check out that video, I'll have a link in the description that you can check out. But um, yeah, so seven to $12 there. If it's 100,000 to 300,000, I recommend uh, paying about 10 to 35 dollars. Um, and this is generally the range that I like to test in because number one, it gives you enough people that you can actually kind of get a good test market to see how it works. Um, but number two, it's also fairly cheap. Like you're not going to spend more than maybe 30, 35 dollars if you're on the higher end of that. Usually I like to find the sweet spot of around 200, 250. Uh, thousand followers and that's usually a good idea it gives you a good idea of how the page is going to perform now i would only move on to pages like this this or this um you know above the 300,000 range if you can actually prove the concept and prove that um you know the product's actually going to work unless you get like an insane deal and you're only paying 30 bucks for like 500,000 then you know obviously go for it um but 300,000 to 500,000 I pay around 35 to $60. Sometimes you'll see as much as like 75 for a 500K. Um, I've never paid 75. I've been offered that a lot, um, but it's just dependent on the page. Like if there's 10% engagement and people are going crazy on it, like $75 is probably worth it for 500,000 because you're gonna get a ton of visitors depending on your ad, um, you know, and potentially make a lot of sales. So a lot of this just comes down to, do you think that you can actually make $75 back from your ad? If you think you do, then cool, run it. But if you don't think you can, then obviously you're gonna lose money and it's not worth running, right? Um, so then you got the 500,000 to a million range. Um, so these are the bigger pages uh, that you're only gonna wanna run on these once you uh, have established your product that it actually works, right? So for these, you'd probably get around 50 on the lower end to $100 for a million. You might pay 115. Personally, I don't want to pay that much for a million follower page unless it's like insane engagement. You're getting like 100,000 likes for a photo, which most of the time you get on meme pages, which as I've said before, are not the greatest. Um, but if you can find one that's good, then you know, go for it. But uh, lastly, if it's a million plus, then I mean, it's, it's just going to range. So if it's, you know, a million, you might pay like a hundred dollars for a 24 hour. You might pay a hundred dollars for a 12 hour. It just kind of ranges. Um, personally, if it's over a million, usually I only like to pay for six hour post or 12 hour post, but because beyond that, you're not going to get as much engagement. Um, because you know, if with Instagram, the post lasts about, you know, maybe 12 hours and then it starts dying off. Um, so that extra whatever amount that you're spending is just going to be wasted and that's a lot of money that you're going to be wasting. So personally, um, I'll, I'll just put this, um, pay for six or 12 hours and that's going to give you a massive discount um, and will allow you to save money and make the most on your investment. Um, so that's why I usually do it that way. Now, uh, I do want to preface that all of these are um, all for, uh, these are for page posts. 
Okay, so these are posts that are actually showing up on the, the accounts page. Now, I know a lot of people do story posts. I've done them in the past before. Um, for me, they don't work outstanding, um, but it could just be the niche that I'm in. I don't know, I know other people have found success with them. So if you do, I would recommend definitely going with pages that only have the swipe up feature and definitely ask for um, you know the, the numbers of how many people are actually viewing their story. And in that case, I usually would pay about a dollar per thousand views. So you know if they have 10,000 views on the story, that would be like the minimum that I'd wanna go for. But if they have 10,000 views on the story, you pay about 10 bucks, you know, 25,000, you pay about 25 bucks, so on and so forth. So, um, so yeah, this is the basic formula that I go over in terms of being able to uh, you know, kind of price and, and have an idea of what I should pay for influencers. So if you guys like this content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. Let's me know that you like it. Also, if you like it, you know, may as well hit the like while you're at it. Uh, lastly, go ahead and send me a DM or comment on this video if you have any questions about this material or anything else, uh, you know, Shopify related or business related. I'm always trying to uh, you know, comment back to you guys and reply because I really want to help you guys out. Lastly, I'm actually going to be offering some free consultation calls. So if you have a website ready to go and you just you know, might have a, a couple questions about what you want to do before you actually get started and launch out, and you want to ask questions, I'm giving away two free uh, consultation calls. They're going to be like 10 minute calls. Um, if you want to schedule that, go ahead and check the link in the description below and uh, yeah, we can schedule that out. So hopefully you like this video and I will see you guys tomorrow. I need you in the morning.